graduation day is a feat that is achieved after many 11:59 pm deadlines sleepless nights takeouts meetings at lingo after a long day and countless days of missing our friends and family and this would not have been possible without your support and sacrifices that's why we have something to tell you السلام عليكم شكرا ولا علاتي شكرا ولا جميع على صديق في الحل ولا بعد شكرا الحل Gracias familia por ayudarme a perseguir mis sueños. Los quiero mucho. Mara Kalti atli dur halta va no mara decision life no sabti moto decision hato ane hu bahut khush chu ke main decision li lo. Mummy papa bhai bhabhi Anushka main tumhara vagar nahi aavi nahi sakti hote hu tumne bahut yaad karu chu ane bahut prem karu chu. Hi Jag vill tacka alla de fantastiska människorna för runt hela världen som jag har mött över de senaste par åren. Upplevelsen hade inte varit den samma utan dere och jag hoppar och håller i kontakt med så många som möjligt alla. Jag vill remercie Ulf för la chans que j'ai eu de pouvoir rencontrer des personnes du monde entier. Gracias a Ulf por presentarme esta nueva experiencia y brindarme una nueva perspectiva del mundo y de la vida y también gracias a mi familia por impulsar esta nueva mente. Ante todo, gracias a Dios sin él no estaría aquí a uh, mi familia, mi madre y mis hermanos por apoyarme en todo tiempo a todos los amigos que hice acá, la gente que conocí fue un tiempo súper increíble estudiamos súper duro, fue genial y también quiero agradecer a mi papá ya no está aquí con nosotros pero siempre fue mi inspiración y mi modelo a seguir gracias papá y gracias a todos Je dis merci à ma famille, à ma famille que j'ai pas choisi, à la maison, ma soeur, mes parents, et aussi merci à la famille que j'ai choisi, mes amis à Iowa et les amis que j'ai fait à Boston. Amoulaï, on behalf of my fellow Filipino graduates, gusto kong pasalamatan ang aming mga magulang na patuloy na sumusuporta sa aming mga pangarap. Kayo ang aming inspirasyon para patuloy na abutin tagumpay na hindi lang para sa amin, pero para sa amin. Mahal na mahal namin kayo. Quería agradecer a todas ellas personas, especialmente a mis amigos, por hacer de Stanley Hall una experiencia inolvidable y una etapa de mi vida que jamás olvidaré. Estoy agradecida con mis papás por darme esta oportunidad que me cambió la vida. Gracias, los amo. Vielen Dank an meine Familie, die mir 6000 Kilometer angereist ist, um diesen besonderen Tag noch etwas besonderer zu machen. Vielen Dank an meine Eltern, meinen Mann, meine Schwester und meine Oma. Das letzte Jahr verflog so schnell und ohne euch würde ich wahrscheinlich nicht so heute hier stehen. Vielen Dank und ich habe euch lieb. Primeramente quiero agradecer a mis padres por su apoyo incondicional y también a Fernanda y a Nino por no solo ser excelentes compañeras, pero también mi mejor amiga a lo largo de este año. Ich möchte meiner Familie danken, die das Ganze hier möglich gemacht hat. Alle Leute, die ich hier halt kennengelernt habe, internationale Studenten, die mein Studentenleben einmalig gemacht haben und alle Leute, die wir halt arbeiten und die mich immer unterstützt haben. Vielen Dank. Ich möchte like meine Eltern für mich unterstützen, mich durch diese Reise zu begleiten und für mich die ganze Zeit zu Und danke allen Freunden, die ich auf dem Weg gemacht habe. Es war eine tolle Reise und ich freue mich, meine Schule mit euch zu machen. Gracias a todos, gracias amigos y familia, y gracias a todos mis nuevos amigos de Col. Fue una gran experiencia. Marhaba, ana Mujahid Al-Akbar, al Fabruk al Kharijin. El día de hoy, me gustaría agradecer a mis amigos y al mentor que me ha ayudado a estar en mi lugar en este lugar. Y espero que todo el mundo me ayude. Kamil Chapa, me encanta que me ayude a estar en el lugar de Gracias a mis papás por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí y siempre apoyarme. También a Dios por estar siempre a mi lado. Gracias a toda mi familia de Perú que siempre me apoya, especialmente a mis papás y a mi hermano que están hoy aquí conmigo. Muito obrigado, Holt. Eu queria agradecer à escola, aos professores, a todos os amigos que eu fiz nessa jornada e as pessoas que me apoiaram, a minha família, a minha esposa, por essa fantástica experiência que eu pude ter aqui. Muito obrigado. Olá, minha gente, como está? Meu nome é Diana Maldonado e aqui estou para dar as graças a todos vocês, aos estudantes e professores, e especialmente a nossos pais e tutores. Muito obrigado por estar nesta etapa de nossa vida. 
आज मैं मेरे पूरे फैमिली और मेरी बेस्ट फ्रेंड को थैंक यू बोलना चाहती हूँ उनके वजह से मैं यहाँ आ पाई और मेरे पूरे सपने मेरे सब सपने पूरे कर पाई अभी मेरे सिर्फ कुछ ही दिन बाकी हैं हर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस स्कूल में एंड इट्स अ बिग अचीवमेंट फॉर मी सो थैंक यू Queria agradecer a Deus, a minha família e aos meus pais por acreditarem em mim e investir em tudo que eles puderam para me trazer para a Ruth. Muitas graças a meus papás que me deram esta oportunidade possível e muitas graças a meu futuro esposo que me estuvo acompanhando ao longo deste incrível reto. Maja, mami, papá, na, ni maja best friend la thank you bola esa he current tancha mores mi aaj is parante ye ho shakli. Maja aaye ne mala nahi me khub encourage kela ki tu za US la study kar. Je souhaiterais remercier toute l'équipe de Ult pour m'avoir transmis autant cette année et je souhaiterais aussi remercier tous les étudiants qui viennent de partout dans le monde. C'était une opportunité incroyable pour moi de de grandir et d'apprendre des uns des autres. Merci beaucoup. Ich möchte mich recht herzlich bei meiner Familie, meinen Freunden sowie bei allen Produktionen hier bei Halt bedanken für das wundervolle und erfahrungsreiche Jahr. Es hat mir sehr, sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Vielen lieben Dank. Bonjour à tous et à tous. Je tenais donc à remercier Halt, mes amis ainsi que ma famille pour cette belle aventure que ce fut à Halt cette année. Je ne me suis pas de Minoja ni ni mon mon papa. Au fait, que à ce qui a donné une grande motivation, motivation, encouragement, de quel je ne me suis pas arrêté. Thank you so much. With you in our hearts, we have made new memories with our new Hull family that we will like to share with you.
Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets You're keeping these promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I'm like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm losing you so bad Gone away, a month or more Every show I go before I need to hear that voice Cause right now it feels like it's been too long I could never let, let you go Go on thinking about the secrets true You're keeping these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. You're an angel, that's for sure. With some devil, here you are. But I like it when you're on the floor. Am I in? You're keeping these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. Hello and welcome to the 2022 HALT International Business School Graduation Commencement Ceremony. Please silence your phones and find your seats. Throughout the ceremony, we encourage you to remain in your seats as your safety is our top priority. Please note, professional photography packages are available for purchase. And now, 
The ceremony is about to begin. Graduation day is a feat that is achieved after many 11:59 p.m. deadlines, sleepless nights, takeouts, meetings at Flingo after a long day, and countless days of missing our friends and family. And this would not have been possible without your support and sacrifices. That's why we have something to tell you. Assalamu alaikum. Shukran wa la alati. Shukran wa la jamia al sadiq fi la al. Wala baad. Shukran al. Gracias familia por ayudarme a perseguir mis sueños. Los quiero mucho. Mara karti atli dur hal tawa no mara decision life no sabti moto decision ato. Ane ko bawaj push chu ke mera decision dilo. मम्मी पप्पा भाई भाभी अनुष्का मैं तुम्हारा वगर अँ आ नहीं सकी होते हूँ तुम बहुत याद करूँ छूँ और बहुत प्रेम करूँ Jeg vil gjerne takke alle de fantastiske menneskene fra rundt hele verden som jeg har møtt over de siste par årene. Opplevelsen hadde ikke vært den samme uten dere, og jeg håper å holde kontakten med så mange som mulig av dere. Jeg vil gjerne takke Ølt for den sjansen jeg har hatt til å møte de personene i verden. Jeg vil takke alle de menneskene fra rundt hele verden som jeg har møtt over de siste par årene. Jeg vil takke alle de menneskene fra rundt hele verden som jeg har møtt over de siste par årene. Og jeg vil takke alle de menneskene fra rundt hele verden som jeg har møtt over de siste par årene. Og jeg vil takke alle de menneskene fra rundt hele verden som jeg har møtt over de siste par årene. Jeg vil takke alle de sin él no estaría aquí, a mi familia, mi madre y mis hermanos por apoyarme en todo tiempo, a todos los amigos que hice acá, la gente que conocí, fue un tiempo súper increíble, estudiamos súper duro, fue genial, y también quiero agradecer a mi papá, ya no está aquí con nosotros, pero siempre fue mi inspiración y mi modelo a seguir, gracias a todos, y gracias a todos. Je voudrais dire merci à ma famille, à ma famille que je n'ai pas choisie, à la maison, ma soeur, mes parents, et aussi merci à la famille que je choisis, mes amis à Iowa et les amis que je fais à Boston. Bonjour, sur le nom de mes fellow Filipino graduates, je veux vous remercier de mes amis et de mes amis qui nous aident à nous aider à nous aider à nous aider à nous aider. Kayo ang aming inspirasyon para patuloy na abutin, tagumpay na hindi lang para sa amin, pero para sa atin. Mahal na mahal namin kayo. Mommy, Daddy, Jared, you made it! Quería agradecer a todas ellas personas, especialmente a mis amigos, por hacer de este año en Hall una experiencia inolvidable y una etapa de mi vida que jamás olvidaré. Estoy agradecida con mis papás por darme esta oportunidad que me cambió la vida. Gracias, los amo. Vielen Dank an meine Familie, die mit 6000 Kilometer angereist ist, um diesen besonderen Tag noch etwas besonderer zu machen. Vielen Dank an meine Eltern, meinen Mann, meine Schwester und meine Oma. Das letzte Jahr verflog so schnell und ohne euch würde ich wahrscheinlich nicht so heute hier stehen. Vielen Dank und ich habe euch lieb. Primeramente quiero agradecer a mis padres por su apoyo incondicional y también a Fernanda y a Nino por no solo ser excelentes compañeras, pero también mi mejor amiga a lo largo de este año. Ich möchte meiner Familie danken, die das Ganze hier möglich gemacht hat. Alle Leute, die ich hier halt kennengelernt habe, internationale Studenten, die mein Studentenleben einmalig gemacht haben und alle Leute, die wir halt arbeiten und die mich immer unterstützt haben. Vielen Dank. Ich möchte like meine Eltern für mich während dieser Reise hier zu Hause unterstützen und für mich die ganze Zeit zu unterstützen. Und ich danke allen Freunden, die ich auf dem Weg gemacht habe. Es war eine schöne Reise und ich freue mich, meine Dual Degree zu machen. Danke an alle, danke an die Freunde und Familie und danke an alle meine neuen Freunde aus Hall. مرحبا أنا مجاهد الأكبر ألف مبروك للخريجين اليوم حابب أشكر أصدقائي والمنتوس تبعيني وكل حدا ساهم في وجودي بهذا المكان الرائع وبتمنى التوفيق للجميع كامل جفاء من دقامة ويخنا شزرة بوبادا ما دو بقعدة وخبر جيمس أو جاكس دامي كوبروب سنتل مسافرس ماش أبي تلاتم خير دامي جيرس أمس أمس أباشي هالتس سانتا شيرس أو بيزنس كولاشي آسیا می‌دانم مدل و بکاتا و خبر چه مسکن لگو است پروفسورپس رومل و مس کاموزیر است هاوسی کامو تیل و بیت صد نه. می‌دیم. Gracias a mis papás por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí y siempre apoyarme. También a Dios por estar siempre a mi lado. Gracias a toda mi familia en Perú que siempre me apoya, especialmente a mis papás y a mi hermano que están hoy aquí conmigo. Muito obrigado, Holt. Eu queria agradecer à escola, aos professores, a todos os amigos que eu fiz nessa jornada e as pessoas que me apoiaram, a minha família, a minha esposa, por essa fantástica experiência que eu pude ter aqui. Muito obrigado. 
Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Diana Maldonado y aquí estoy para darle las gracias a todos ustedes, a los estudiantes y profesores y especialmente a nuestros padres y tutores. Muchas gracias por estar en esta etapa de nuestra vida. Eu queria agradecer a Deus, a minha família e aos meus pais por acreditarem em mim e investir em tudo o que eles puderam para me trazer para a Ruth. Muitas graças a meus papás que me fizeram esta oportunidade possível e muitas graças a meu futuro esposo que me esteve acompanhando ao longo deste incrível reto. Maja, mami, papá, na, ni maja, best friend, la, thank you, bolas, zahe, karen, tancha, moris, mi, azit, parente, yo, shakli. Maja, aene, mala, nehemi, kub, encourage, kela, ki tu, za, us, la, study, kar. Je souhaiterais remercier toute l'équipe de Hult pour m'avoir transmis autant uh, cette année. Et je souhaiterais aussi remercier tous les étudiants qui viennent de partout dans le monde. C'était une opportunité incroyable pour moi de, de grandir et d'apprendre uh, des uns des autres. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. Ich möchte mich recht herzlich bei meiner Familie, meinen Freunden sowie bei allen Professoren hier bei Halt bedanken für das wundervolle und erfahrungsreiche Jahr. Es hat mir sehr, sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Vielen lieben Dank. Bonjour à tous et à tous. Je tenais donc à remercier Halt, mes amis ainsi que ma famille pour cette belle aventure que ce fut à Halt cette année. Je suis un homme qui a été 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 With you in our hearts, we have made new memories with our new Hulk family that we would like to share with you.
Please rise and remain standing to welcome Halt International Business School's faculty, administration, special guests, and the class of 2022.
Good afternoon, and please be seated. Dr. Matt Lilly, President of Holt International Business School. Mr. Shane Steffens, President of Undergraduate Programs for Holt. Dr. Mona Dillon, Executive Vice President and Dean of Graduate Programs. Faculty, staff, special guests, family and friends, very dear class of 2022. As I take this wonderful scene before me, all of you today, together, all of us proudly celebrating your academic and personal accomplishment, your family and friends with us today, in person or virtually, the whole professors and staff that taught you and supported you throughout your journey, and who, by the way, today are very proud of you, our guests. All this, I realize that is a scene that one simply can I get used to regardless of the number of times it is observed. A scene that captures the imagination and provides inspiration for anyone who has the honor of standing before you. In my case, I have an additional very personal view of the scene and what it represents because of the unparalleled degree of diversity we see at Holt and thus here today, of course. It is easy to assume all this as normal. It is like being in the Boston campus and looking at the Charles River and the Boston skyline uh, from any of our uh, team rooms or offices and assuming that, you know, this is normal. Right? It's an everyday delight that we don't realize how extraordinary it is until, of course, we see the expression on people's faces as they light up when they see the same. We didn't realize that we have been living something extraordinary. Our diversity is easy to assume away as a normal experience, as an everyday experience. But as far as I'm concerned, it is a special, unique reminder of our reality, of who we are, extraordinary. And this reality is something that truly never gets old for us, even for those of us who have been here for many years. You see, it reflects the fact that you all have come from so many places. You have left loved ones and friends. In many cases, you ventured to a new culture, new language, and new country. All this, let us not forget, while you adapted to the demands of pursuing your degrees. If this sounds familiar, you are right. We shared a similar message when we welcomed you for the first time at our Boston campus. Back then, we congratulated you on your decision and bravery to begin this journey despite the obvious challenges. Today, we are celebrating the successful completion of that journey. There is one quote that frequently comes to mind when I think of Holt students. It is from Thomas Aquinas, the 13th century philosopher. He said, if the highest aim of a captain were to preserve his ship, it would be kept in port forever you most certainly did not remain in port. In the end, you have all been bold and successful travelers, and you have been experiencing the most exciting of all journeys, creating your future. The future, though, is something so difficult to control, is it not? All we can really do is work hard to prepare for it. As Abraham Lincoln, the 16th US president, noted, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And so we do. And as we say farewell to most of you today, I would like to say to you that we at Holt remain committed to our institutional mission, which is to be the most relevant business school in the world. This is important to say on this day, knowing that our success will also be yours, because simply it enhances the future value of your degree, the degree that you're about to be awarded today. When I think about our mission, I am reminded of Nelson Mandela. He said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So much that we do as a school is to foster this change and prepare students for the future. Changing the world one student at a time is a journey that we started ever since Holt was created. 
and one that we will continue. Thus, our way forward is clear. Our relevance will be maintained only if we continue to provide professionals that have solid foundations and principles, are good communicators, can work with others, work with others, anyone in the world, and for us, very importantly, have the necessary mindset to absorb their own experiences, including failure, in order to become stronger. Leonardo da Vinci put it well when he said, I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. A very nice way to describe the growth mindset. Now, I know that you already know about the growth mindset, so we're not going to go into that, right? But I also hope that you realize that living it, living that growth mindset, will be one of your many competitive advantages as you go into your roles. Now, implicit in this offering of relevancy is making sure that we live up to the expectation of providing an educational experience that is applied, that is hands-on. The idea that we frequently hear that if you wish to go to a school that prepares you for a business, for the business world, then you should go to halt. This is a source of pride for us. It is, of course, also a challenge for us as an institution for we must live up to it and be innovative and up to date in the education that we offer, which is exactly what we are doing, always improving our content and courses. More than 2,500 years ago, Confucius was already telling us that I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand, learning by doing. This is also who we are and who we will continue to be. Now, I have shared these thoughts because I believe that this is an important moment to highlight the kind of academic community that you come from. The one that you, by the way, helped create. This kind of institution that will be forever part of you, just as you will be part of us. So, we are a richly diverse community that represents the world, that constantly strives to be innovative and relevant, and that is made up of bold travelers that are not afraid to create their future. This is who we are. This is our future. Before I end, um, I would like to leave you with a suggestion. Don't forget to recognize and give credit to those who deserve it. This simple notion reminds us of the good advice that all of us have probably heard since we were children. Say thank you. With very few exceptions, no matter how capable you may be, achievements are never attained in a vacuum. Great leaders and innovators can, of course, generate novel ideas, that's for sure, but they will not be able to achieve much unless they are accompanied by those who believe in those new ideas. It is not so much what we can do alone, but whether we can compel others to walk with us, and when the time comes, to follow us. We don't have to know everything, and our achievements will be a function of how well we use the collective knowledge and experience that already surrounds us. But for this to happen, we must remember that generosity in recognition of others can achieve wonders. Work very hard, but also be humble and be generous. If you strive, as I hope, to make a difference in other people's lives, you should realize that this is many times possible because you, in turn, were benefited in the same way. Someone made a difference in your life. I will venture to say that we are all here thanks to others, just as where we ultimately go will also depend on others. In the spirit of recognizing the contribution of those special others in our lives, I would like to ask our soon-to-be graduates to join me in thanking the friends and loved ones that are with us and have made it possible in so many ways that we celebrate this day. When you do remember that those family and friends that are present here today represent not only themselves, but also the friends and family and loved ones that are with us virtually. So, Holt students, please stand up, turn around, and please join me in applauding your friends and family as a way of saying thank you.
Thank you very much. Saying thank you to those that have been here for us. What a wonderful feeling, isn't it? They, of course, didn't do it for the recognition, but I'm a parent too, so I can assure you that receiving this gesture is something that we never forget. I'm sure that they are all saying, no need to thank us, but yes, you are so very welcome. We love you and we're proud of you. In a moment, I will have the pleasure of congratulating you in person, individually. Until then, thank you for your kind attention uh, and best wishes for all of you. Now, I would like to uh, invite to the podium our president, Dr. Matt Lilly. President Lilly. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Dean Gonzalo. What a privilege it is to be here to celebrate this special day with all of you as we honor your achievements today. It's wonderful to see so many of you here with your families and friends to be able to celebrate in person. Wherever you've come from, on behalf of all of my colleagues, you are very welcome, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is my first graduation ceremony at Holt. In the three months, the short time that I've been at the school, I've been hugely impressed by what I've seen. The inspiring teaching of our amazing faculty represented here on stage today, our incredible international student community, our even bigger alumni group, our world-class wonderful locations, and our truly fabulous programs that we teach. During your time at Holt, I hope that you've built a global community of friends for life and gained the knowledge and skills to thrive in your next chapters. I hope that you've been challenged in ways that have helped you to grow and to discover strengths and capabilities that maybe you didn't know you had. I hope you've learned and I hope you've had fun. Our focus on practical knowledge, learning by doing, working in teams, and building skills, that is the future of work. And you are very well prepared for it. But life doesn't stand still. And I would urge you to stay curious and to keep learning. Now, as you know, one of the traditions of these ceremonies is that you are uh, you're gifted with unsolicited advice from uh, people of a certain age. Now, I'm not going to break with that tradition, but, uh, but I will give you one piece of advice, but I will also um, set you one challenge. I'll ask you one favor give you one wish from me. So th 30 years ago on um, my graduation day, my professor gave me a bit of advice. He said, Matt, I don't know anybody my age that wishes they'd worked less hard when they were your age. Now, uh, as advice goes, that's OK. But I'm going to see if I can do a little bit better and improve on it. Among the many things that you're going to feel today, I hope that one of the things is satisfaction. Satisfaction is the feeling that you get by doing something that was hard for you or that took a long time or both. As an old man to a young audience, I, I can tell you that uh, one of the things I've learned is, is that, that real happiness comes from having a good balance in your life between fun and satisfaction. 
fun is easy. You can choose to have fun every day of your life, and you should. But you can't choose to have satisfaction. You've got to work at it. So my one piece of advice to you is make time every now and then to ask yourself, am I keeping the right balance in my life between having fun today and investing in my own future satisfaction? Today marks the end of your current chapter at Holt, but it isn't goodbye. You will always be part of Holt and Holt will always be part of you. Today, you make the transition from being a Holt student to being a Holt alumnus. You join a community of 30,000 people around the world. Please, stay in touch. Come back and see us. Tell us how you're doing. Please use the alumni community for advice and connection. And please, help fellow alumni who reach out to you. We're stronger together than we are individually. Now comes the challenge. The challenge is how are you going to make an impact that matters on the world? It's a question I'm posing to every member of our global health community, including myself, staff, students, faculty, and alumni. As we pursue our dreams for ourselves and for our families, I believe we also have a responsibility to use the collective power of our global community to make an impact for good in the world. Our purpose as a school is to create a better future for all by inspiring and challenging our community to make an impact that matters. I look forward to hearing about your impact in the years ahead. Now I have to ask you a favour. At Holt, we are proud of every single one of you. I hope you're proud of yourselves, and I hope you're proud of Holt. As you make your way in life, please share that pride in Holt with the people that you meet. That's it. Finally, to the class of 2022, is a wish. I wish that you enjoy this day. Nearly 30 years later, I look back on my own graduation day as one of the most special moments of my life. A precious day that I shared with my own family. I hope that you can all make similar memories today. Congratulations to all of you, and go well. It's my absolute pleasure now to introduce the next speaker, somebody that many of you know very well. Please welcome the Holt Boston Undergraduate Dean, Mo Willem. Dr. Matt Lilly, President of Holt International Business School. Mr. Shane Stephens, President of the Undergraduate Program. Dr. Mona Dillon, President of the Postgraduate Program. Distinguished faculty, staff, parents and families of graduates, friends, and graduates. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2022. We are gathered here today to celebrate you, the students, on earning your Bachelor's of Business Administration degree and your Master's degrees as well. We are also here to thank the people who have supported you on this journey, your parents, your grandparents in some cases, your siblings, 
your friends, the faculty, and the staff of the school. Each helped you in different ways, through financial support, emotional support, moral support, as well as educational support from your professors and staff, many of whom are here today with you to celebrate this great occasion. Your professors have worked tirelessly to inculcate and build your knowledge, which in my humble opinion is the greatest gift one human being can give to another one. They have also supported you and consistently challenged you to raise your game, to be the best versions of yourselves, and most importantly, to inspire you in many different ways. The staff of the school who are also here with us today have also helped you along this journey in providing academic guidance and planning support as well as emotional support. They have also supported you through the various clubs and societies and through the amazing events that have been organized. I will re echo Dean Gonzalo's sentiments by kindly asking you again to join me in showing our sincere appreciation and, and gratitude to all the professors, the staff, as well as the parents and families who have made this journey a reality today. Thank you. As an educational institution, our school continues to evolve, to grow, and to develop. Many changes have happened since our last graduation. Our founding president, Dr. Stephen Hodges, has moved to a different part of the organization after over 15 years of excellent service. We also welcome our new president, Dr. Matt Lilly. And for the undergrad program, Ronan Grumbaum, who was the dean of the undergraduate program in London, from 2014 to 2021, has been promoted to become our global head of undergraduate learning and development and tasked with developing our new BBA curriculum. This new curriculum will be launched this fall and places heavy, heavy emphasis on the acquisition, the development, and the continuous um, application of skills. The successful completion of your studies in this does mark a significant milestone in your lives. This day, this moment, is a culmination of many years of hard work, dedication, commitment, resilience, and sacrifice on your part. However, as this chapter of your life closes, it also heralds the beginning of a new one. Some of you will be starting your professional careers. Some of you will go on to start your post-advanced programs of study. Some of you will be joining your family businesses. And some of you will be starting your own entrepreneurial ventures. I am confident that whichever direction you take, if you continue to show determination, a growth mindset, and positive attitude, then you will continue to realize your aspirations and achieve success. The theme of my speech today is about using your education as a force for social good. Education, in my opinion, transcends beyond just the acquisition of knowledge, skills, and competences. In fact, education is the process of learning and expanding culture. And as it contributes to the improvement of human condition through better knowledge, health, living conditions, social equity, and productivity, it is also a central tool for social progress. Education is expected to foster social progress through four different but very interrelated purposes. Number one, humanistic through the development of the individual and the collective human virtues to their full extent. Number two, civic, 
by the enhancement of public life and active participation in a democratic society. Number three, economic. By providing individuals with intellectual and practical skills that make them productive and en en enhance theirs and society's living conditions. And fourth, through fostering social equity and justice. The true value of education is best manifested when it is utilized and applied to make positive changes in the lives of people. As humans, this planet Earth is the only habitable one we have thus far. Yet, as beautiful as our world is and can be, it is also beset with so many challenges. Today, our world is facing immense economic hardships characterized by growing levels of inflation, diminishing levels of consumer spending powers, geopolitical conflicts, rising levels of poverty and inequalities, as well as the real time and very deeply concerning issues of climate change and global warming. Each of you can play your part in different ways in bringing about solution to these global challenges. I challenge you all to ask yourselves every day, what can you do to make the societies and the wider world we live in a better place? In the jobs that you do, focus on adding value by generating solutions that will improve the lives of other people. If you are engaged in an entrepreneurial venture, prioritize business models that can make positive differences to the lives of people. Each of you, in your little and in your big ways, can collectively make a positive difference in serving and uplifting humanity. Regardless of what your future engagements might be, always remember to do your best to serve the greater good and humanity at large. And in your interpersonal relationships with others, always be open-minded, be kind, be polite, be confident yet balance it with humility. What I mean to say is this, be part of the solution for fixing the problems in our world. In essence, I will quote the late great Nelson Mandela who said that education is the greatest weapon we have to change our world. Be sure you epitomize and you leave this great statement in your everyday lives. To summarize and to conclude, I leave you all with this parting message. Go into the world and do well for yourselves. And equally importantly, go into the world and do better for serving and uplifting humanity. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to invite this year's guest speaker, Ilhiana Rojas Saldana. Ilhiana is a business strategist, executive, career transformation strategy coach and consultant, a diversity and inclusion catalyst, a Hispanic advocate, a best-selling author, and an international motivational speaker. She is the founder and owner of Be Life Coaching and Consulting, which specializes in empowering professionals to reach their full potential and maximizing workplace engagement, collaboration, and performance. As an executive and leadership transformation coach, Ilhiana has over 20 years of executive experience in top Fortune 500 companies, leading and coaching professionals, teams, and businesses to success. She is passionate about connecting back to her heritage by using her coaching expertise to support the Latino community and actively engaged in various diversity and inclusion initiatives. Ilhiana, I welcome you to the stage.
of 2022, how are you? Woo! Today is a great day to celebrate, isn't it? It's a day to celebrate, isn't it? Awesome. I'm still not hearing a lot of the energy, but I imagine you're just saving it for tonight. <laughs> Dean Gonzalo, thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, President Matt Lilly and Mo Willen, faculty behind me. I'm sorry, I'm going to be moving around, so sorry that I'm giving my back. Students, friends, Family, thank you for allowing me to be here to share this incredible day with all of you. Now, a day like this comes with a lot of mixed emotion. I mean, on the one hand, we're excited, we're happy, we're celebrating. But let's face it, on the other hand, I know that many of you have anxiety, stress, doubt, and yes, let's call it out, a little bit of fear, or maybe a lot. And you know what? That is okay. Because when we're at a threshold of change in any moment of our lives, that's the emotional cycle that we go through. And we tend to just embrace some of the emotions and the other ones, we push them to the side. But I invite you to actually embrace all of them because you can use them as fuel to drive you and move you forward. That is what successful leaders do. And all of you, each and every one of you, are successful leaders and will continue to be successful leaders for the rest of your life, no matter what path you take. So, I'm here to invite you to starting tomorrow, because today is a day to celebrate, think about what is the type of leader that you want to be? Maya Angelou says that people may forget what you said, may forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And that is at the core of you being either a great leader or a hated one. Now, according to a study by McKinsey, 85% of leaders believe that they are great leaders. 85%. And 77% believe that they inspire others. It's a huge amount. On the flip side, a Gallup recent report states that 82% of managers and executives, in other words, those same leaders, lack the leadership skills according to their direct reports and employees. Interesting data. And that is really a reflection of the leadership crisis that we've been living for the last decade or more, which just got even worse with COVID. You see, people leave, are leaving companies and have always leaved companies because of poor leadership. Because basically, they have very bad bosses and they're not willing to, you know, stay there. So as you head on to what's next, I ask you to take a moment in the next couple of weeks to really think about what is the type of leader that I want to be? Now, I started my career over 25 years ago after I graduated from chemical engineering and went straight into marketing, because that's what you do after you graduate from, chem from chemical engineering. And after that, for the next 15 years, I became a very successful leader. I got promoted every other year until I got, after the first 10 years, into that coveted position of being an executive in a Fortune 500 company that I was working in. I mean, I was at the top of the world. I traveled around the world. I negotiated multi-million dollar uh, different uh, businesses. I launched many brands, many of them I'm sure you've used in, throughout your life. 
what can I say? I was at the top, top of the world, had a dream career, very nice six-figure income, and happily married, two wonderful kids. What else could I ask? Until I didn't. Until somewhere along the way, I got lost. I forgot, I got so into being focused on the business, right, and delivering on the goals that I forgot to be a leader. I forgot to lead my team. I forgot to lead myself. Unfortunately, that went on for many years, more than I'm happy to, to say. But that became a downward spiraling, you know, year on year until I crashed, until that was it. Luckily, life finds a way of putting beside you and in front of you incredible people that told me what I needed and I didn't want to hear. But I'm back on track creating meaningful impact. And through that journey, I learned what it meant to be a great leader. And I know for a fact that each of you have what it takes to be an extraordinary and powerful leader. You just have to be conscious and intentional absolutely every day about your leadership style with everybody that you interact with and in every setting that you're in. You've already learned all the strategies, all the best practices, frameworks, case studies of what it means to build successful businesses. Now it's up to you to define how you're going to approach that. To break the paradigms, the stereotypes, the beliefs of what a leader should be and define the leader that you want to be. We're at a threshold of greatness, of wonder, of extraordinary moments. You have an unwritten, bright future lying ahead of you. And no matter what path you take, if you know the core, of the leader that you want to be, I assure you, you'll always be on the right track. So let me share with you five lessons that I hope will help you in defining the type of leader that you want to be. The first, once you are a leader, you're always on, always on. As if you're on the window display 24 seven. People around you will always look at you, what you say, how you say it, and the actions that follow. Everything you say, no matter, and you do, no matter how informal the setting, how informal the conversation, believe me, matters. Your words will carry weight, and they'll have unmeasurable impact on others. Last week, I was at an event with thousands of between students and CEOs, and I had the honor to take one of my teams with them, with me. Um, and on the fourth day of the event, I woke up to a text. The text was from the wife of one of my team members, and she was thanking me, and I quote, for all the love, care, and support that I had shown her husband during the week. She told me how he'd been struggling and she couldn't be more grateful to hear from him time and time again, how he had felt so supported by me, by me through the week. She finished by saying that this not only had had a huge impact on him, but also on her and their wonderful two kids. And for that, she was eternally grateful. 
So as you think about the leader that you want to be, be very clear on what that means in terms of the words that you say, in terms of the actions that you take. From the moment you wake up to the moment that you go to sleep at night. Every day from now on, you're a leader and you'll always be on. Second, as a leadership and an executive coach, people always ask me all the time, what's the best role for me next? Should I you know, go into this organization or that organization, this role or that role? Uh, what's my best path forward? Being a great leader is not about the role, the title, the organization. It's about the impact that you want to create in the world. It's about your purpose. You see, leaders who are aligned between what they do and the impact that they want to create, there's no stopping them. And more importantly, people will join them on that journey because it's authentic, because there's true meaning behind that. During that time that I shared that I was lost for many years, you see, I became so focused on delivering the top line and the bottom line of the businesses that I was in that I forgot to be a leader. I forgot why we had started on this journey of what we were trying to create. I kept pushing my team to deliver on the days and the projects that they needed to do, the, th the goals and the projects that they needed to do. I drove them to burnout. I drove their, hard, their high frustration, their disengagement. I became part of that statistic where I honestly believed I was one of those 82% great leaders and everybody else was wrong. My team believed absolutely otherwise. I was a very poor leader. So, as you think about the leader that you want to be, I invite you to think about what is it that wakes you up every morning and makes you jump out of bed? What is it that fills your heart? What is it that makes you feel like you're really creating something? Because that is going to guide you. It's going to be your north star in deciding what company, what role, what path should I take on next? Because if it's aligned with that, you're not making a mistake. If you're following something else, I'll leave it up to you. Third, you're not alone on this leadership journey. And most importantly, you do not have to have all of the answers. You see, those days, when leaders dictated what needed to be done and then everybody executed are gone. Leadership has dramatically evolved and will continue to dramatically evolve years to come. Leaders that understand the importance of shared leadership, of shared decision making, of shared goals, of collaborating, of partnering, of coming together with crazy ideas, and moving forward side by side, those leaders are the, gonna be the, success, the successful leaders. And most importantly, people will join them because it's gonna be a shared effort. I have the fortune of interviewing C-suite executives every month and I've done that for the last three years. And they all agree that shared leadership is one of the most important things that has driven their success. And I especially recall one of them who is a CEO of, of, of a company that's been driving double digit growth for the past decade, even through COVID. And he shared with me 
that his own metric of success as a leader is having to go through a full month without making one decision. He's understood that his role as the leader of his company is to empower, to enable his team and to trust them that they know what is best for the company. He's there to support them and to remove the barriers that are, need, that are you know, getting into the way for them to be able to accomplish the goals, even if sometimes he does not agree with those, but he knows they know best. So think about, again, as you think about this leader that you want to become, don't worry about do I, am, do I have all the answers and am I going to have all the answers. I do encourage you to always have a list of the people that you're going to lean on, that you're going to surround yourself with, and they're going to join you on your leadership journey because you're doing that together. Fourth, be empathetic and compassionate, especially now. I mean, we've all been impacted in ways that we never thought of. And always be open to understanding the person that's in front of you. Because they may be showing a smile and standing up straight, but on the inside, they just may be barely holding it together. Compassionate leader holds space for others to feel safe to share, to be vulnerable, to be listened to and feel cared for. To be a compassionate leader, it's about being human. Simon Sinek says that a true leader is one that is not necessarily in charge of the business. A leader is one that is in charge of the people in charge of the business. It's all about our people. So as you think about the leader that you want to be, think about how does compassion and empathy fit into your habits and behaviors every single day? And finally, Believe in yourself. Because to lead others, you first need to lead yourself. And to do that, you need to believe that you are a leader. And that is easier said than done. It's really very hard. You don't know how many times leaders approach me of all different levels and they tell me and they open up, Rihanna, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's normal. But it's just about turning around and looking at all the great impact that you've already accomplished through your life and embracing it. So when these moments happen, because they will happen again and again throughout your career. First, I recommend that you hire a coach, shameless plug. But really, three things that I recommend that you do. Take two deep breaths, because that'll help you focus. And then take five minutes to write down all the things that you've accomplished throughout your life, all the things that you are proud of, until you reconnect with your greatness, with your amazingness, and you go like, oh my God, like I'm really, really cool. Like I've made so many things I did not remember. And third, think about why you started, why you started on that journey so that you can reconnect with your purpose and remember 
why you're doing the things that you're doing. Because life and being a leader is not about who you once were. And it definitely does not stop with who you are right now. Being a great leader is about embracing who you have the potential to be. All you have to do is believe. Thank you. Thank you, Liana, for those words of wisdom. And you have left us with things to dwell about ourselves, and that's always good. It's always good. It is now my honor to introduce a new global award for the class of 2022, the Hodges Scholar Award. Dr. Stephen Hodges served as president of Hall International Business School for 16 years from 2006 to 2022. During his tenure, Holt became a global leader in business education with campuses across three continents, over 4,000 annual graduates, and an alumni network of over 30,000 students. Under, this, under his leadership, Holt became the first triple accredited business school in the United States and is consistently ranked among the top business schools in the world by some of the most prestigious ranking bodies. His entrepreneurial spirit, focus on innovation, believe in the power of practical learning, and his commitment to academic rigor epitomized the HALT ethos. In honor of his contributions, we have established the Hodges Scholar Award. This prestigious award celebrates the values embodied by Dr. Hodges by rewarding the extraordinary academic achievements of students studying at HALT International Business School. This award is granted to students graduating in the top 1% of their class globally. On behalf of Holt International Business School, it is my great pleasure to announce that from a total of 19 award recipients globally, we have 10 graduates here with us today who will be recognized among the first group of Hodges Scholar Award recipients. When I call your name, uh, kindly please rise and stay, uh, remain standing until um, all the recipients have been announced. I will call by uh, program and by student. For the Bachelor of Business Administration program, Anna Cornelia Gertler. <laughs> For the Master of Business Administration program, Katharina Schild. For the Master of Business Administration program, Philip Adolf Schutt. For the Master of Business Administration program, Marcelo Ferrari. For the Master of Science in Business Analytics, Tim Bastian. From the Master of Science in Business Analytics, Dimitri Aleshin. <laughs> From the Master of Science in Finance, Hidayatullah Hidani Mbubona. <laughs> From the Master of Science in International Business Program, Christina Morin. For the Master of Science in International Marketing Program, Daniela Conchesso Giron. <laughs> and for the Master of Science in International Marketing Program, Steen Vincentson. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.
Congratulations on this extraordinary academic achievement. The class of 2022 Hodges Scholars will soon be showcased on Holt's website and will receive a personal letter of recognition from our president, Dr. Matt Lee. So again, congratulations. It is now time to recognize our graduates and confer their degrees. Our students will receive their diploma and cross the stage to be, greeted, to be greeted by leadership and deans as proud graduates of Holt International Business School. Out of respect for all of our graduates and their families, we ask that guests remain in their seats during the conferral of degrees as to not block the views of others or diminish the moment in the lives of our graduates. Professional photographers who are on hand to take photos of each graduate. For each program, we will first hear from a student speaker prior to the handing out of our degrees. We'll begin with our Bachelor of Business Administration degrees. After the student speaker, we will invite and have uh, President of Undergraduate Programs, Mr. Shane Steffens, and uh, Dean, Boston Dean for, un, for the whole International um, Undergraduate Program for our whole um, um, Boston campus, uh, Dean Mo Willen, to also approach uh, the stage and welcome the, uh, the students. Junaina de Andrade. <laughs> Parents, friends, families, and amazing faculty. Thank you for being here today in a day that is so important for all of us graduating. As I was writing this speech, my mind quickly came back to September 2018. We were the first undergraduate class of the Boston campus. I still remember the multiple parties at Avalon, students sleeping on the floor, pulling all-nighters to study for accounting class, and of course, the boys asking the girls why they couldn't mix black and white clothes when doing laundry. But apart from those amazing memories, I am filled with joy every time I remember how I was able to witness some of the most amazing people grow into who they are today. And this not only applies to those who started back in 2018 with me, but also those who have met along the way. I witnessed people who were extremely shy give amazing presentations this year. And it is truly fascinating to look back and see how much we have changed as well as all the skills we have acquired throughout our journey at Holt. On another note, this past few years, especially 2020, were very hard for us. But I'm really proud to say that together, as a family, we made it through, supporting each other even though we were in different countries all together. But coming back to the present, and as my last words, I would like to say to all of you, please keep working hard. I have heard some of the most amazing business ideas, pitches, startups, concepts, and dreams. And I know that by putting all the hard work, being consistent, making smart choices, in a few years, I will see all of us where we wanted to be and beyond. Because this is what Holt has shaped us to be global citizens and leaders who are doers and go get what they want because we are ambitious. Thank you very much and congrats because we all deserve this. Janaina de Andrade with distinction. Anik Goel. Yeah. 
Abhishek Nath. Adriana Maria Herrera Abreu. Ayla Joy Makaruloy. Alpha Omar Diallo. Alvaron Nilo Mendoza Olazabal. Amy Liu. Anna Carla Chero Gallardo. Angel Joyce Murakami. Anya De Chavini. Anna Cornelia Gutler with distinction. Asimwe Kevin Nireri. Banavi Sharma. Buwan Kumar Kumaraswamy. Brianda Almonte Carrasco. Carolina Refesser. Carolyn Abigail Vlasic. Chris Calderaro Correa Amaral. Connor Ismael Alfaro. Costanza Franz Landia. Daniel Pascasio. David Anthony Vaughn. David Benjamin Mariano Funit with distinction. Derek Pao Kojo Dadzi with distinction. Diana Maldonado Rios. Donald Javel Harvey. <laughs> Donna Karen Deshavini. <laughs> Elena Timoshenko with distinction. <laughs> Eluan De Coteller. <laughs> Emilio Ballesteros. Espen Lin with distinction. Esteban Medina Castillo. Ethan Ertel. Faris Chaban. Felicity Kilby. Felipe Zuniga Palacios. Felix Moen, with distinction. Fiorella Nogales Enea. 
Freddy Campoverde. Gabriel Alejandro Guzman Garcia. Gabriel Fernando Borja Solorzano. Georgia Clemente. Hector Javier Esparza Camargo. Hunter Ducio. Isabella Johnson. Isabella Maria Cawas Bidicelli. Jose Antonio Miguel Reyes Concepcion. Juan David Garcia Rueda. Juan Francisco Salas Longa. Juan Pablo Reyes Sahid. Karel Casongo. Kenneth Beido. Laura Pino with distinction. Leonardo Rossini. Lily Zoe Fara. Lucas Turari. Luna Cuervo Puanco. Maria Antonia Turbi Fermin. Maria de los Angeles Rojas Espinoza. Maria Laura Robelo Camacho, with distinction. Mary Carmen Garcia. Maria Reznichenko. Mary Chelsea Ricanor. Mauricio Fonseca. Melina Bazan. Michael Penaloza. Michelle Cade Ayon. Nabella Zurai Kawas. Natalia Kubarsi Galia. Noel Simone Rochnecker with distinction. Umu Diallo with distinction. Pasca Nehemiah Winanda. Pietro Moroni with distinction. Priscilla Sanabria Rios. Renan Oliveira de Miranda. Ricardo Jose Mejia. Roque Alberto Diaz Aguena. Sabino Zar the Fort Manglikpot. Sedun Yapa. Sagar Samir Madrani. Sehar Bonab. Sebastian Sabe. Celine Chetin, with distinction. Sydney Laura Castro Camargo. Sir Ru Zhang. Sol Candia Prayones, with distinction. Sydney Santos, with distinction. Thea Lacho. Tendo Ramapala. Utkarsh Narain Singh. Webhav Singh Panmore. Valerie Michelle Fleming Benavides. Victor Isakov. Viplav Tandon. Viviana Wu Liu, with distinction. Yash Sanghavi.
Frederick Charles Rubich. It is now time for the conferral of our postgraduate students. As before, um, we will have the student speaker from each program approach the podium first. Thank you, Dean Gonzalo, Dean Mary, Priam, Program Deans, Faculty, Visas, Finance, Careers Team, and everyone behind the scenes who kept our campus running smoothly to create a fantastic experience for us all. Ahoy! <laughs> My name is Fred Ribbage. It's an absolute honor to represent the full-time MBAs, Metropolitan MBAs, Boston EMBAs, virtual part-time MBAs, and LEAP MBAs of 2022. A very warm welcome to our families and friends, and I think I speak on behalf of everyone graduating today. We are very grateful for your support over the past year and for coming across the world to spend this special day with us. So, thanks, Mum. Thank you for being here. It's a privilege to have you here. It's been an incredible journey since starting in September. We have learned from incredible lecturers, faculty, and more importantly, HALT has created an opportunity for us to learn from our amazing and inspiring peers from all over the world. I want to repeat that again. Learning with and from peers from all over the world. It is really special to be part of such a global and diverse community where we get to live and learn together. Never in my life, would I have thought I would be living with a Spaniard from the greatest city in the world, Valencia, and a Frenchman who considers Morocco home. Ignacio and Olivier, we started out as, as acquaintances, and now we're leaving as lifelong friends. Thanks, boys. I was telling my dad a couple months ago about how diverse we really are. We're having dinner, and around the table I counted 10 different nationalities conversing, laughing, sharing ideas, experiences. All he said was, you are lucky. Embrace it all. Knowing that wherever we end up in the world, whether it's Iceland, Chile, Canada, Japan, everywhere in between, we will have a contact and a friend. We tend to take the simple things, such as gratitude, for granted. We don't thank those around us enough for the simple acts of kindness we get on a daily basis. So, I'd like to thank all you wonderful, bright, ambitious and gifted classmates for a wonderful year we have shared. From beers and lunch at Lingo, dinners and cooking paellas together, going for a walk, getting ice cream, heading off on road trips and holidays, and going to Bell in Hand on a Tuesday night for karaoke. These are priceless memories that will stick around forever and cannot be taken away from us. Now, there are three things in life. Sorry. <laughs> That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. There are three characteristics in this incredible and inspiring group of MBAs that I've noticed and observed over the year. And I'd like to share them with you. Number one, we are ambitious in our own way. We all have dreams and goals, and they vary between everyone. Some have come to halt wanting a change, or seek guidance in refining their goals, and I believe have done so. Some want to be successful in finance, be great leaders, change up the marketing scene, fight climate change, design the next best app, bridge the gaps of society in gender, education, and healthcare, and others want to be the best parent they can be for their kids. Number two, we are determined to reach our achievements and overcome obstacles, whether they have been personal or school related. We all face challenges throughout our HALT experience, and with that determination and diligence, 
we are graduating today. Number three, this is my last one. We have the correct attitude to make a positive difference in the world. Whether it's big or small, it is still a difference. We are action oriented doers and achievers. Our attitude towards each other shows that we can make a difference. We want the best for each other and are willing to help each other to achieve their goals. With these three characteristics as HALT MBAs, we are pertinent and ready for any challenge and opportunity we will face in the future. So, my lasting wish to all of you is that you may continue growing and learning to live the best life possible. As the great Nelson Mandela once said, there is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. It's been my privilege and pleasure. Thank you. Masters of Business Administration, Frederick Charles Rubidge. Adedeji Fayedi. Adedoyen Bemileki Ogumdipi. Aditya Sharma, with distinction. Alan Mauricio Castaneda Vaquez. Alberto Ferreira, with distinction. Alejandra Campa Diaz de Leon. Alejandra Lugo Ceballos. Alejandro Slobotsky. Alessandro Rutza, with distinction. Alexander Carney. Alvaro, Alvaro Ronquillo. Alvaro Manuel Cavigno Cosianzi, with distinction. Andrea Eraso Santa Cruz. Andres Restrepo. Roberto Fialos, with distinction. Angel Marie Ward. Angelo Jesus Rondan Perea. Cesaro. Antonio Cesaro. Ares Calisier. Arlindo Mayo Neto. Armando Coveyo. Ashraf Shihab. Ayman Ramadan. Birna Hund Holzmar's daughter. Bruno Robiero. Caio De Castro Souza e Silva. Camille Maria Patricia Ash. Carlos Arenas. Carlos Mario Miguel Serrano. Casey Patricia Hall. Clara Chan, with distinction. Katerina Schild, with distinction. Claudia Lima. Clayton Aristotle Rosenberg, with distinction. Clemente Ferraro, with distinction. Christina Stovba. Deliza Nova. Dan Russell B. Sonoria. 
Daniel Quintero. Daniela Fail Gonzalez. Daphne E. Marcelli. David Leando. David Peralta. Dina Sotude. Diego Lazo. Dominique Kuvert. Dominique Cristina Castillo Claire. Dries Janssen with distinction. Eva Nakvi. Eduardo Wagner Wolf. Emanuele Tetta. Eric Jonathan Boots with distinction. Eugenio Cortina with distinction. Fabian Brockman Lange with distinction. Felipe Antonio Chavarria Fernandez. Francesco Maggi. Gabriela Quintana Lopez. Gania Abiola Muiden. Jenna Barbara Zimmel. Herman Dario Parra Leon with distinction. Jezebel Perotti. Giorgio Cavazza with distinction. <laughs> Glenn Kaznecki. Hekon Alexander Buja Oso. Anastasia Die Gredo Maringa. Harrison James Mears. Hector Karim Gaona. Hirokazu Kobayashi. Hiroki Ando. Hiroshi Azuma. Hisham Mohammed El Wakil. Hussam Hassan Bajamal. Hyunjun Lee. Isabel Aoka Faran. Ivan Lopez. Jaime Alberto Gonzalez. Janelle Marie McNeil with distinction. Joan Ohu Alpha Soti. Jorge Peralta Ortega. Jose Enrique Tamayo Escobar. Jose Miguel de Sena Alonso with distinction. Jose Vicente Herrera Anemarbar. Fernando Hernandez. 
Joseph Boama. Juan Pablo Gonzalez Oses. Julio Jose Perea Beck, with distinction. Jun Yong Lee. Kaoru Kurata. Karan Padayir. Karishma Rajan, with distinction. Cassandra Perot. Kennedy Joshua Balungun. Kelly Coffin. <laughs> Kenneth Anthony Granados and Ednelino. <laughs> Kent Miyauchi. Kevin Sam Rose. Kimberly Priscilla Joyo. Kosisose Gumbur Udiaka. Larissa Spirsky. Latif Oladipupo Olatunji, with distinction. <laughs> Lauren Marie Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> Lexi May Carter. Lena Rome Gottschlag Anderson, with distinction. Lazir Jasmine Novoa Pachas. Luciana Hammerschmidt Wolf. Luigi Eduardo Cicconi. Luis Jesus Barrios Avendaño. Noor. Miguel Manuel Chavez Andia. Marcela Perez Gardini Lucchesi. Marcello Ferrari. Marcos Alejandro Garbi Garbay. Maria Alicia Quiros, with distinction. Maria Jose Martinez Patino. Mariana Garcia Malachias Andrade. Marina Javier Barreto. Martin Alberico Lezama. Mei Hua Wong, with distinction. Melika Saidi. Miguel Angel Aquino Moore. Miranda Joe Wright. Mirtha Carolina Viegas. Mohideen Abdul Kadar. Mohammed Amir Merchant. Mokite Mashala. Natalia Muzuelos Fortunic. Nathaniel Pettiford.
Nayeli Rivera. Nicole Pilco Bustamante. Nomatemba Melomakulhulu. <laughs> Tina Nutawari Ki Kokcharun, with distinction. Ola Marie. Olga Denitza Campos. Olivier Ulrich, with distinction. Oluwabuseo Omoniyi Ojo. Omolola Jayesmini. Nosa Ogbenmudia. Oscar Eduardo Romainville Solis. Umnia Benana. Pablo Torre Vega. Patricio Helfer. Paulina Daniela Duran. Pedro Enrique Shade Andrade. <laughs> Philip Schutt, with distinction. <laughs> Rafael de la Cajiga Leon. <laughs> Raghuv Pandi. Rahul. Raul Ibarra Amarillas. Renan da Silva Asuncao. Ridwan Hanif, with distinction. Rishpa Sharma, with distinction. Rodolfo Vela Rebaza. Rodrigo Gonzalez Says. Roger Anthony DeLambert. Rosalia Gonzalez. Rui Bashir. Riohe Arai. Sandra Aramburu. Santiago Crane Prado. Santiago Garcia Villate, with distinction. Sarah Bujelta. Sebastian Niels Emil Junsen, with distinction. Sergio Alejandro Ortega Barba. Sewando Eric Nkuchu. Shireen Khan. Shohei Takahashi. Siddharth Krishnan Nair. Saeed Naveel Maboud Ali. Takayuki Shigeta. Talaya Shams. 
Tess Marie Black. Thomas Prime. Valentina Vetzelli. Varun Agawal. Vasily Gross. Victoire Sabine Wedrago. Victor Haddad. Victor Hugo Perez. Wilhelmine Bangura Vule. Yuji Otsuka. Yuki Kobayashi. Yvonne Tejada. Zachary Will. Zun Kun Bai. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, deans. Thank you, faculty. And thank you, Holt. I'm kind of about to pass out while I'm up here. Not because I'm nervous, OK, maybe a little, but because, of, as our dear speaker said, today is a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, today, we're here to celebrate all those sleepless nights that we spent trying to figure out how to survive on Game of Thrones or how to fight the collapse of the population. I'm confident you did not end this program without being kicked out of school at, at 1 AM after trying thousands of feature combinations for your model. Or you spend hours at home crafting detailed presentations, all for them to be over in the blink of an eye. But here, however, we're here to celebrate as well those other nights that were not spent so much with the academics, but trying to figure out whose food was the spiciest. I know for a fact somebody cried once. Or uh, who, sorry about that one. Yeah, um, so who was a repeat offender at Lingo? Or, who knew more recognized songs by heart. All of them were completely worth it. We gained so many things throughout this year. Just think about it. Skills, knowledge, even some weight, I'm sure I have. But most importantly, people. People that have encouraged us. They have supported us. They have told us the truth even when it was hard to hear. People who have cooked for us. They've made us laugh. They have been a shoulder of crying. People with whom we have built memories, memories we will forever cherish. So yeah, uh, as you can tell, I'm feeling a little blue about that right now. But I'll try to keep in mind that moments stay even when people leave. We will all be going our separate ways. Some of us will continue our academic journey at Holt. Some will be going back to their home countries. And some uh, will stay and get the chance to experience corporate America firsthand. After today, it's not likely that we will all be in the same room and looking this pretty ever again. So I just want you to go with the main things that we all learned this past year, and that I don't have a single doubt are the source of both your nightmares and your dreams. Coding, but remember, it doesn't matter what you're ranking on Data Campus if you don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> what's the problem and what's the connection? I'm for sure not gonna forget those. Along with, you guessed it, what's your story? And finally, and my personal favorite, don't be afraid to be the fool. Be open to learning as much as you can, especially from those with whom you share the most differences. Those who you now have the privilege of calling not your friends, but your chosen family. I once heard in a movie that what and if are towards as non-threatening as words can be. But all it takes is putting them together side by side, and they have the power to haunt you for the rest of your life. Even though that was meant in a more romantic kind of way, I feel like it sort of applies to our future too. So don't be afraid to challenge the status quo, to be yourself, and to dream big. And I am sure those dreams will meet you right in between what you want and what you really need. So 
Uh, right now, I just want you to feel proud of everything that you have achieved this past year and take a step forward into the world with the hope that I see in your eyes today. And now, before we all start crying more, because <laughs> I can totally see my mom breaking down over there, <laughs> um, just go and celebrate with everybody who has been a part of this journey with you. Thank you. I love you guys. Graduates with a Master's of Business Analytics, William Laverde. <laughs> Abdallah Bazan, with distinction. Abdul Salam. Alejandro Ortegon. Andia Morale Mao Marino. Benjamin Belez. <laughs> Bindushri Raprafuro. <laughs> Borja Kanyada Ruiz. <laughs> Camila Araceles Perez Perez. <laughs> Camila Brave. John Gune Songar. <laughs> Carlos Mesa. <laughs> Carolyn Christian Kressel with distinction. <laughs> Claudia Aravelo Ramirez. <laughs> Chanda Shikren Reddy Manarkarin. David Manadnishan. Deo Gracias Muntanda Murgnana. Diego Pena. Dimitri Alishin with distinction. Elnor Mamamadov. <laughs> Emily Lopez, with distinction. <laughs> Eri Mayada. <laughs> Fengeng Li. <laughs> Felipe Dominguez, with distinction. Fernando Carprio Lara. Francisco Rodrigo Alonso Castellanos. Gabriela Acosta. Gleedy Rodriguez Alonso. Ikechi Obina Wozuzu. Isaac Norman Sinu. <laughs> Isabella Ricci. <laughs> Janet Bilway. <laughs> Jerry Utina Abdaji. Jessica Sari Lorenzo Schmidt. <laughs> Ji Ho Song. <laughs> Jirapar Tanglaki. <laughs> Kirsten Janatz, with distinction. <laughs> Krutali Dilip. Baudrey. Laszwellenkowski <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> Maria Celeste Bustillo Ferrer.
Mauricia Trevino. Michele Julio Coletta Martinez. Mehir Saktiva. Mirna Gaza Gaza. Mohammed uh, uh, Yusuf Ahmed. Narish Somara. Neha Sampson. Nika Nikpakt. Odunayo Odibia. Olisa Dubi Basi Oziduma. Oraiolua Sho uh, Ikola Shoyora. Rahul Divedi. Roberto Jose Zavellos Donoso with distinction. Rohan Suresh Sonar. Sandro De Angelis. Saurav Kumar. Sri Lakshmi Shavara Dudupi. Suba Brata Howlader. Saeed Hussein. Tenbite Solomon Abebe. Tiago Santos. Tiberio Favoreto. Tim Bastian with distinction. Tommaso Gagliardi. To fellow Carbo Rene Matanbene. To Melo Blessing Oteng Jr. Simule. Tula Tura Ventola Franch. Barbara Porochenko with distinction. Venugupal Mori Hararan Mini. Victoria Braz. Vijay Yiramasetti. Yogitha Ranga with distinction. Zizong Sang. Masters of Science in Finance. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, deans, professors, family members, friends, and my fellow graduates. Uh, it is an honor to deliver this graduation speech. Henry Ford once said, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. 11 months ago, we all stepped out of our comfort zones and embarked on this journey not knowing what the outcome would be. Many of us left behind families, friends, businesses, careers, and passions only to pursue this one special dream. 
Some of us were excited, some scared, and some nervous about this journey. But guess what? You made it to the finish line. I recall myself feeling a mixture of emotions before I got here. Playing professional tennis was something I always saw myself pursuing as a career and as a passion. Little did I know that being a business school graduate would make way in my path. The thought of knowing that my priorities were going to change was most difficult to accept. During my last few days in India, I would go to my mother and say to her, Mama, can you believe that I'm going to be a full-time grad student? Uncertainty and doubt arose every time that question came out of my mouth. But I would have never overcome that insecurity if I had not embarked on this journey. No matter how diverse the Hulk community is, as human beings, there's something common that I found amongst us all. We all built the courage to let go of the known, to put ourselves in the most challenging of situations to achieve the unknown. However, change is omnipresent. We must continue to allow room for change and growth, as it is this journey of ours that will bring out the strength in us to embrace that change. It is not always the big steps that count. It is the small steps we have taken every day to redirect, steer, and adapt ourselves to the unknown. This was only a stopover, and there is significantly more for us to achieve. But for now, it is a day to be proud of ourselves, cherish the memories, and celebrate knowing that the world is full of opportunities and escapades. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Rashmika Rajan. Adrian Felipe Cordero Oteza. Aisha Baba. Aki Antony. Alexandra Valdivia. Aminder Kaur. Amar Burhan Mohammed, Anna Paula Dianderas, Andreas Winther Lawson, Ambrose Robert, Aniset Habimana, Anjola. Aluwa Ayo Lawal. Ariana Mani. Arthur Bayon. Barakat Ula Bashiri. Bharat Pradeep Bafna with distinction. Boris Daniel Lancheros Monsalve. Brandon Benita. Brandon Vusumuzi Mithi. Catalina Vergara Serrano. Chi Chen Lin. Chi Hong Hyung. Clara Roverato. Clement Heckley. Dan Jonathan Stewart Selvan. Daniel Imporzani. Daniel Esteban Reyes Toca. Davila Jiki Yimga. De Sola Olofingaray. Dominic Grant. Dorian Lanari.
Elton Fernandez. Francisco Cervantes. Gabriela Cristina Barreto Rivera. Harish Kumar Vinamala. Hector Cachaferro. Hidayatula Hidaning Buono with distinction. Janie Shroff with distinction. Jatin Puri with distinction. Jenny Sather Holton. Jerry Kerr. Joao Pedro Farajote Correa. Sebastian Espin. Johannes Albert Willem Sandberg. Kevin Santiago Sierra Duarte with distinction. Kodshakorn Pratum Keo. Frank Olivier Kumayor. Kushal Shroff. Laura Florentine Stischkal. Lucia Medina Olive. Makoto Isogai. Mankiran Kor with distinction. Marcos Savoini with distinction. Maria Solin Solonina with distinction. Marishtel Sangalong Burgos. Martina Albani with distinction. Mary Elaine Marmoleo Monroy. Masaru Saito. Matthew Lagures. Mateo Gatti with distinction. Mauricio Tapia. Moja Tapa. Tap. Maximilian Mittermeyer with distinction. Mayer Barole. Mujahed Nawaf Agbar. Mutea Kartika Dewi. Nana Fosua Owusu Sekiri. Nicola Bini. Nicole Vallejo Reyes. Nidhi Medan. Nobule Dewa. Paulo Marie Martin Mercado Vasquez. Regina Zepeda. Romy Franco Singh. Ruth V. Nilesh Doshi. Sartak Jena with distinction. Shabin Samanani with distinction. Shilpa Vashdev Kalra. Shivam Patwari.
Shoreen Goswami. Shweta Jadav. Siddharth Puri. Stefan Wouter Van Liem, with distinction. Uwakfan Sambo. Venu Madhava Pejavar. Victor Sipi. Vincent Amiot. Yosapat Hyangjorn Chai, with distinction. Jomin Lee. Graduates of the Masters of International Business. Distinguished guests, deans, professors, faculty, staff, and our beloved parents, family members, and friends. Thank you so much for sharing this momentous event with us. I am Jules Sakino from the Philippines, representing my fellow graduates from the Masters in International Business program. MIB is commonly pictured as the program with little work experience or the cohort without specializations. However, I think I can speak for the 207 MIBs that will be walking across the stage and the ones joining us on Zoom, that the past year in this holistic program gave us a gift. We each found our true strength, our passion, and the direction that we all want to take in the future. Because HALT gave us an opportunity to reinvent ourselves and unlearn and relearn what we think we know and just be driven by challenges and opportunities along the way. This was our HALT MIB journey. And I'm sure that while each of our stories were written differently, we all had our moments at HALT, whether it be in school or in the streets of Boston. These, me these memories and moments are the ones we will take with us in the future as we give back to society by encouraging the next generation of business leaders to continue dreaming. My fellow graduates, we might go our separate ways, but let's admit, we all found our small pockets of home in the global friends that we made here when we started the program last September. So let's keep in touch. Remember to regularly check up on your German friend who's not very fond of social media, or visit your Pakistani groupmate uh, on her birthday. We all have our global friends that we want to keep, right? So let's use the social media, Viber, whatever it is that we use. Because aside from the skills in marketing, finance, data and decisions, and what, am I so, what else am I forgetting? Oh, our HALT DNA, our growth mindset. These friends are the ones we can really keep for a lifetime. In closing, I encourage everyone to take your big leap of faith. We already packed our bags once or twice to chase after our dreams, and it led us here in Boston, Massachusetts, the primary hub of innovation and education. So what else are we supposed to be afraid of? Accept that job offer from across the world, or confess your feelings to a longtime crush, or who knows, maybe your uncanny business idea today is actually the future. On behalf, again, of my graduating batch from the Masters in International Business program, we dedicate this achievement to everyone who inspired us to be better. To God be the glory, congratulations to us all, and best of luck in the future.
Julia Isabel Minieba Aquino. Abraham Madugu Joseph. Adrian Lopez Pareles. Akash Kokila Raja. Alejandro Espinoza Carrillo with distinction. Alessandra Spitzali. <laughs> Alessandro De Caro with distinction. <laughs> Alexandra Garcia. <laughs> Alexandre Role with distinction. <laughs> Alexei De La Forest Divan. Alimath Akinotuk, with distinction, with distinction. Anand Krishnan. Andrea Camargo. Alenka Maria Sanchez Vargas. Anita Landroliti. Armando Salinas Aranda. Arsen Sofarov. Ashley Alexander. Ashna Danishbe Patel. Ashton Brooke Kalfi. Ashwinram Ravi Chandran. Ayan Horanandchi. Ayaz. Balasuria Sankar. Beatrice Parcelos. Barath Kumar. Cameron Wales. Carlo Maria Maroni. Carlos Alberto Hernandez Torres. Carlota Tramatov. Carolina Omarim Portela. Carolina Barbosa del Castro. Carolina Maciel Caniero Ribeiro. Jem Bartosz with distinction. Chandana Lipetavie. Charlotte Butelli with distinction. Chaya Yadav. Chloe Bouton. Christian Rothmeyer with distinction. Christiana Morin with distinction. Clara Berton.
Christina Saurihi Giaro Yucarrillo. Jario Diallo. Daniela Urego. Daniela Bugalisi. Dana Natalie Kamade El Hato. Diana Santos Paderas. Dogun Ekenach Zaya. Edgardo Jesus Alva Fossa. Eduardo De Diacole. Evan Anthony De Los Santos. Elena Gonzalez Suarez. Edzem Rusta Moglu. Van Lu Jo. Felipe Saravia Mora de Sena, with distinction. Popafulawe Daniela Mafe. Francisca Maria Paul Beltran. Francois Pretorius with distinction. Franklin Tom Pyong Lee. Franziska Holner. Frederica Skipper. Finn Lasse Kemzis. Gabriel Andres Guzman Yakumato. Ganasayan Santil. Garav Dariya. Grija Vidura Barapakar. Julio Fattori. Kuhan Yapayan Tayan Vayu Santelanahadan. Guillaume Henri Ivan Chosson. Hui Min Chen. Iga Bernardi. Ishraq Amam Prantik. Jamia Carter with distinction. Jasper Thomas Von Westing with distinction. Jay Shah. Jean Jordi Sagara. Jill Patsala. Jin Sakai. Joao Pedro Almeida Castellano. Johan Axel Grippenluf Karlberg with distinction. 
Johanna Nilsson with distinction. John Paul Carson Rasunas. Jose Contigo with distinction. Jose de Jesus Barcelo. Joseph Macondo. Khan Imamoglu. Kabir Singh Seti. Kai Feng Li. Kaira Kamakura. Katharina Denner. Kita Kudo. Kevin Huang Trine. Kota Kimura. Lakshmi Aiswarya Jayanti. Liam Hu Chavez. Linda Stefania Barria Rodriguez. Lucas McFadden. Luis Armando Flores Montes. Lucas Ansgar Buchner with distinction. Maita Kara. Meyer Shong. Malakarjuna. Nagalapura Gatti. Manan Jain. Manadeep Reddy Alete. Marai Kalinka. Maria Valone. Maria Amelia Dagam Iskidio. Maria Camilla Nesa Vargas. Maria Fernanda Juarez. Maria Isabel Fernandez. Maria Sofia San Felipe Guienes. Mariama Diallo. Mariana Portillo Ramirez. Mariel Mahares de Rio. Mark Bunick with distinction. <laughs> Marcelo Ivy Mejuela. <laughs> Mateo Garrido Cardenas. <laughs> Mateo Di Bologna. Matthew Ryan Milikovic. <laughs> Matthias Hunzinga. <laughs> Megumi Teresa Fuentes Cabuata. <laughs> Meng Yo Huang. <laughs> Michael Steyer. Mika Tsusomori. 
Milan Ventakesh Bau. Mohammed Azib Sheikh. Mohammed Irsan Dvi Supatra. Naud Surafel Beira. Nathan Chintu Bismwa. Nils Tiplet. Octavio De Almeida Borges. Olawatobi Joel Oladbido. Penelope Chesek. Perla Karina Gonzalez. Prabhu Rana. Premdeep Singh Kular. Pravesh Pravin Chitre. Raquel Ann Cerulea Rivellera with distinction. Ragna Rodley Jorts. Raj Pagaria. Ramzi Ajami. Raphael Paul Bonami. Ranak Ramachandran. Rebecca Alacantra. Ron Schneider. Ryan Fideon Daniel. Sai Samira Polka. Salvatore Martinez. Samanvita Rayaur. Samuel Ajiragone Amahi. Sarah Dorudian. Sarah Giordani Muir. Scarlett Taranzona. Sebastian Torres. Shania Vang. Shika Bajrang Runda Pandadia. Sinji Takadil. Shivani Kamat. Sho Harai. Sriraj Pravin Ahar. Shukai Lee. Sidi Mokhtar Torari. Simon Kopinik with distinction. Simone Trisha Lewis. Snehal Aksho Gavai. Somdachuku Yefora.
Sandre Enger Brockenroche with distinction. <laughs> Stephanie Canas with distinction. <laughs> Saeed Amir Azam Shah. <laughs> Takumi Suzuki. <laughs> Tala. Kufash, Tejababu Papala, Tejaswini Parapapar, Timur Ayazabayev. Toshiki Kizugawa, Ulrich Owen Johansson, Irvi Lendy, Utkarsh Buvala. Valeria Cimena Ramirez Landio. <laughs> Valerie Charlotte Josephine Beauchon. <laughs> Vanessa Claude Amugu. <laughs> Vanessa Castro Leon. Varsha Ramesh Babu. Victoria Hubar, with distinction. Wida Wayuni, with distinction. Jimena Patricia Hamon Diaz. Yash Hirapara. <laughs> Ingwil Lokin, with distinction. <laughs> Yutaro Takasaki. <laughs> Ivan Didere Lafortune. Zulfan Khan. <laughs> Wang Zhuquang. <laughs> Amelie Lopez, with distinction. Graduates of the Masters in International Marketing. Good afternoon, esteemed guests, deans, Holt faculty, staff, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. My name is Sarah Elman, and I am so honored to represent the Masters of International Marketing program today as we celebrate our graduation. With 34 nationalities, 22 different undergraduate majors, and 88 bright, unique minds, the MIM class of 2022 is truly a group like no other. In the fall, we came together from all corners of the world with different expectations and goals. We went from complete strangers to a tight-knit group of individuals working together to lift each other up through the roller coaster ride that is a master's education. Now, during this period of change and transition, we typically focus on the future and all of the exciting things ahead. But it's also important to look back and reflect on everything that brought us to this moment. We stand here today stronger, more knowledgeable, and more confident in ourselves, making all of the trials and tribulations worth it. Not only have we learned the ins and outs of all things marketing, the biggest takeaway that I've found is the personal development that I've witnessed in myself and in each and every single one of you. We can accomplish anything that we set out to do 
We now have something that nobody can take away from us. The education we've received, the work we put into this year, and the friendships that we've made. Wherever you go and whatever you do, a part of you will always be connected to the MIM family. The HALT DNA is now a part of us all in the way we think, communicate, and collaborate. As we take the next step forward in our lives, it's important that we value ourselves. So don't be afraid to push the boundaries. Find your passions and your purpose. It has been my pleasure to grow and learn alongside you, to receive your support and offer mine in return. I want to end off with one last assignment. Don't worry, there's no due date. But I want to challenge you all to continue your journey of learning in whatever you do and wherever you go. As marketers and as future leaders, it's our job to stay curious and continue to grow. And there's one last thing that you must remember. As Professor Pang always says, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. So dream big, ask for what you deserve, and know that the Hulk community is always here for you. Thank you so much, and congratulations to the MIM class of 2022. Sarah Jane Elman, with distinction. Ashi Cabra. Adriana Raquel Lopez, with distinction. Adrian Magnac. Ai Chi Wong. Akilesh Sharma. Alessia Parlato. Alexander Zonse. Elisa Schumacher, with distinction. Ana Luisa Estrella. Ana Paula Santoyo. Porcayo. Anastasia Bobuleva. Anastasia Kolometsiva. Andrea Antonella Cifuentes Ibarra. Ana Tonello. Annika Gunther, with distinction. Antonella Pantoja Falconi. Arnold Jonathan Imi Puyagura. Bader Edin Ben Seed. Brianna Tere Dixon. Carlos Fernandez, with distinction. Catherine Brissett Garrido Vargas. Cynthia Eva Gillette. Daniela Conceso. Davide Calabro. Emilio E. Yanez. Erica Estefania Ornelas. Unju Lee. Fernanda Pimentel Costa. Georgina Oluafumi Yo Coker. G. 
Jianshan Ye. Juan Jose Burbano Rojas. Juan Marco Cabrera Murillo. Julia Garcia, with distinction. Justine Nicola. Carla Garcia Corral Lobo. Kunpuya Tongit Rasa. Lansana Fofana. Laura Andrea Aponte Lara. Laura Fernanda Flechas Pardo. Laura Luz Garcia Garcia. Lucy Arini Saiputeri, with distinction. Mako Moriwaki. Mandy Pulsa, with distinction. Maria Fernanda Gonzalez Torres. Martina Aranda Rivera. Mary Jane Pincas. Megan Beerfurt. Melody Murray. Michael Fuming Hong. Mikael Schrom Madsen, with distinction. Nadia Rodriguez, with distinction. Nino Elise Barashvili, with distinction. Palin Santa Vanont. Paula Pacheco, with distinction. Paula Toscano Corredor. Peleg Katz, with distinction. Ratiros Kang Sudan Mani Chai. Rebecca Bertinelli. Rebecca Cavazzana, with distinction. Ria Can Canodia. Rai Desai. Sean Kyle McGee, with distinction. <laughs> Shreya Dagji Jag, Chandra Bordra. <laughs> Stina Vincenson. <laughs> Suruchi Mittal, with distinction. Taran Kent. Tim Vickman. Wei Chen Tang. Yash Chirag Cha. Zoe Lorente.
It is my honor to certify today's graduates for the respective degrees. Candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Analytics, Master of Science in Finance, Master of Science in International Business, Master of Science in International Marketing. Would you please, would you please rise and remain standing? Acting on the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Academic Board, the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, and the Ashridge Memorial Trust, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree earned with all its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you all. Thank you all for sharing this year with us, and we hope to continue to see you involved as our HALT alumni. As always, I leave you with a promise to work very hard to make the diplomas you earn increase in value. Like we are of you, we want you to be proud of us. In a moment, we will begin our recessional. I will invite our faculty to start, followed by our newly minted graduates. We ask that family and friends remain in their seats until the platform party and graduates have exited. Afterwards, you are invited to meet your graduates outside the building. You truly represent a global generation, and I know you will do hold your families and yourselves proud. Again, congratulations, class of 2022.